Hello, World of Tank Blizzards. It's Littlefinger with another full tank review. This time we are looking at the Tiger P. This is a German Tier 7 heavy tank shown here in the 2018 Halloween Garage. And very fitting, this is a pretty scary tank, especially if you are on the enemy red team. couple housekeeping items please guys make sure you subscribe so you get updates and it helps me out a lot also I've revamped the discord server this week made it a lot more interactive and I'm gonna be on there a lot more posting announcements and things like that so make sure you join us there as well alright guys here is the Tiger P the beast of a tank here in our Halloween garage what I like about this tank the frontal armor is really good, especially if you can get into face-hugging situations. That gun mantlet is almost impenetrable by even tier 8s. The sides, your tank, um, not so much. Primarily, all of your armor is in the front. But this gun is to die for. It's an 88mm gun. High rate of fire, um, high velocity, does low damage, but you've also got a high reload so you really can pump out the damage in this tank real quick just looking at equipment i did go ahead and switch over to calibrated shells i was initially running gun rammer switched over to calibrated shells had a little bit of trouble with some is3s is5s that type of tank um but outside of that no problem just shooting ap at just about everybody defense system Improved optics. Look at this, 279 for a heavy tank. That's really, really good. Um, enhanced gun lane drive. Again, I'm more of an upfront player in this. I don't sit on the back line and snipe. This gun could snipe, um, but you're not utilizing the best part of this tank um, by doing so. Enhanced armor. We're going to add another 4% to that already good armor profile. Engine accelerator. And again, Vertical stabilizer, primarily I'm on the move. This really helps with your gun shaking up and down, or reducing it, I should say, whereas refined gun is going to get that dispersion down if you're more of a sniper, run with that. Um, just real quick on the ammunition, not even a full loadout, 37, 14, and 8. And, of course, make sure you buy your APCR with the credits using that shell price button to the right. So, the Tiger P is certainly a tank that we want to take a look at in Armor Inspector so you can get an understanding of what the enemy is going to see of your tank. Uh, it's a great side scraping tank as you can see here. Don't want to go much past 20 degrees. Obviously it starts turning green once you get to about 25 degrees. And this is with an, an IS. Let me go ahead and change that over to let's say an IS-3. And um, you can see, still got a lot of red, 122 millimeter gun. We'll go ahead and go over to the KV-5 with its 107 millimeter gun. Um, you're going to start seeing a little bit green up there on the top plate, but still a lot of red. And uh, just keep an eye on that side scraping angle there. No more than 20 degrees you want to get. Um, again, that gun mantlet. It's always red always always red so if you want to get in someone's face you can do that I will show you a great instance against an IS-6 in one of my battles negative six degrees of a gun depression so this is what the enemy is going to see when you're in this tank so you know any review I do always has blitzstars.com in it with the tank compare here Tiger P on the left and the rest of the tier 7 non premium tanks to the right this is without any equipment so keep that in mind 2242 in total damage per minute is really up there um, obviously Black Prince has got it whipped um, we all know that that needs to change a little bit but you look at these other ones, 17, 18, 1900 DPM. We're so much further above them, and we've got even better penetration numbers at 203. You know, we're looking at 15 to 20% higher pen number. And I personally like having a higher rate of uh, fire, especially when you're trying to put away a pesky light or medium. It's only got a few hit points left, and you don't want to be in a tank um, like T29 and have a 10-second reload um, only to do, you know, 
30, 40 hit points. So that's I preferred the higher rate of fire, higher penetration tanks anyway. And if you look at our shell velocity there at 1,000, um, and obviously our aim time is pretty good, dispersion's uh, really good. So this could be a good sniping tank, but um, like I said, with your armor being as good as it is, um, you're really only using half of the tank if you do that. As mentioned before, negative 6 degrees of gun depression. We look at the speed here. It's, it's certainly a mobile heavy tank, um, but then again, it's still heavy. You're not going to be getting those 50s, 60 numbers that you would in some of the lights and mediums at tier 7. Um, and then we look at the hull armor. Look at this, 200 millimeters compared to these others at this tier. I mean, it's insane. Anyway, this is why I really enjoy this tank. Look at this, top damage, 6,579,5719. Some really, really good numbers there. Anyway, guys, let's jump into some gameplay and put this thing to work. All right, guys, bottom tier, Falls Creek, first game. Now, I'm not completely new to this tank. You can see 124 battles in my reroll account there. And I've had 39 in this one, 64% win rate. Damage per battle, 1804. Kills per death, 3.06. So you can see a very capable tank. So you might be asking yourself, why am I doing a review of a tier 7? Haven't finished all the tier 6 tanks. Well, with update 5.5 coming out, um, you'll notice, and I, I put a screen grab of this in the Discord server under announcements, the Tiger P is now going to branch off uh, the, both the VK4502A, and there's going to be a new tank, the VK101P. Um, so yeah, I started just to grind this one so that uh, when that 5.5 does come out, maybe um, next week or the week after November, uh, I have some experience points and can go ahead and unlock that tank, the 101P. The Mauschen is the tier 9 after that, and then the Mouse. Um, and then the Mouse is getting shifted down to that line, and after the VK4502B is going to be the VK7201K. So three new heavy um, German tanks being added to the tech tree. And um, you can see here with this game, you know, one of the reason, part of the reason I put this game first is. Um, just to show you how much of a bully this tank can be, you know, basically, I, I did wait a little bit, wait until everyone got into the middle there and killed themselves and uh, basically came in and helped clean up a little bit. And uh, now we're just focusing on this ISU. Obviously, I just took a big shot there, so that would be the uh, the Waffentragen there um, who got me on the side. So I'm going to make sure I'm back behind this rock and not getting shot from my right side and I know he's gonna have to make a move we shoot him as he jumps down the hill um, and now we've got the T45 in our uh, 44 in our sights so uh, really not a game of a huge amount of strategy in this tank just yet um, just a matter of keeping this gun active and you can see here yeah, 150 meters away, just how accurate it is, uh, obviously when you're stationary. Panther 2 down there, um, and I think that's our Ferdinand is in trouble, so wanted to go down there and help when, uh, here's the RHM, and uh, just trying to stay active here, uh, making it difficult for him to get a shot into me, um, but he does, so a low roll of 281 there, so now we can just switch back over to AP and we can get two shots into his one shot easily and finish him off for kill number three and that was just the Panther too well Ferdinand's done a great job here just staying alive so you know the accuracy on this gun here um, that was me just bad aiming into the mantlet there but uh, decide on the second try round switch over to APCR we'll make sure this one goes through and get our fourth kill so you've got a heavy tank with super armor that can even <laughs> snipe I mean it's a really really strong tank you see there 3k damage as bottom tier
as we roll into our second game as bottom tier here on mines um, it's certainly a very capable tank on this battlefield here um, and you know you see this over and over from me on mines I really enjoy this spot on the left side here uh, said it before most of the attention is on the hill the opening there you're also mostly protected from um, snipers that sit in the spawn area where the IS-6 is. Now this game starts out real slowly and I miss a lot of shots. And this is when um, this T-43 pushes around and makes my situation even more difficult and you can see more missed shots. Um, this game is not going well for me. So I'm looking back to see if I have any support behind me. And I'm just trying to keep the T-43 in check without getting shot by this Predator here. And again, another poorly aimed shot shoots the rock. And at this point, you know, I'm really starting to struggle. Now I'm taking hit points as well. I haven't done any damage yet. Another shot into the dirt. You know, I'm starting to feel a little bit of pressure. Mount uh, taking all of these shots and missed everything. We got a T43 behind me. And so I go ahead and decide to go ahead and get the shot into the Predator and we'll get him finished. Now they're distracted and we can start dishing out damage. Still a close game, four on four, and that IS-6 is sitting up there. Still have this T-43 down here and this Pershing. So I've got two one-shots down here and we're now down a tank. Got a lot of hit points, so I can get down here and uh, certainly trade a few. And that's when the Pershing gets taken out as I'm coming around. T43 still in play. IS6 is camping in spawn. It's three on three, and I'm driving through water uh, super slow. Get a shot and bounce here. Having a hard time even making a decision on which way to go. By the time I get to the T43, he's taken out. So it's three on two, and you can see in water, heavy tank, it's slow going. But the good news is that I've held on to my hit points, but only 355 in damage, so this obviously has not been a good game for me. Barely 25 kilometers per hour here through the water. We don't have very good train resistance statistics on the tank. Feels sluggish and it's slow going. <laughs> and so, I'm not sure what happened there up on the hill, but we certainly lost our advantage um, big time. And now I am up against a higher tier tank with uh, 100 less hit points than he has. So we bait the first shot there. And um, see we can do most of this on AP here. If we can get some good angles, we're shooting up into him, so that helps. He's going to rush on down. And I'm just going to wiggle, and he is going to bounce. We do bounce that shot back. Um, but like I was saying, an exceptional face-hugging tank. Just keeping that mantlet in his face. That one bounces. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to aim for that hatch. And just uh, wiggling and turning and making it difficult for him to pen anything. Switched over to APCR just to make sure that this is going to work. 
and he finally gives up trying to shoot me through the front of the tank and uh, we'll go ahead and finish him off and uh, don't think he did any damage to us so um, probably not the best IS-6 driver out there but it just goes to show you how strong this tank can be in a face hugging situation and uh, managed to rectify a, a, a really slow start there so here we are Copperfield and I tell you what this tank is made for Copperfield uh, really slow small quarters here uh, we can get into a great hold down position coming up uh, can't quite get that shot to pen but now I'm in my nice hold down position over here and this is where we can really start doing some damage unfortunately track shot no damage but look at all these heavies lined up here two grave diggers SU 122 and just bouncing 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 do take a little bit of damage there from the grave digger we want to make sure we're gonna push him back figured he was on a reload but he still had additional shots in the clip apparently SU 100 why we want to keep him at bay now we're going to try to aim as best we can here, bounce as many shots, wiggle, jiggle, make it difficult to hit us, and uh, we bounce quite a few there. Took a big shot from the SU-122-44 there, but with a faster reload we can get our second shot in and finish him off. SU-100Y is backing away, getting shot by Gravedigger here, so want to push down, finish him off. ARL, not sure where this guy's been hiding out, but uh, fine by me, nice soft side targets here, getting some good damage in. Surprised I'm able to reload and finish him off for my third kill. Now we'll look at the accuracy on this gun. Things get really crowded up here. Second shot into him. <laughs> it's seven on one. Poor old grave digger. And how about this shot right here? Yeah, we'll take that kill. So, really nice spot there. 2700 damage. Steel wall and uh, just a lot of bouncing shots and that's what this tank does and why it's so great so I would say you know I am had some really good games in this uh, almost 3k games it's hard to get uh, mastery in it for sure but even on the games that I've been losing I'll tell you what I've been doing close to 2k damage even in those games even you know when my team folds because you're bouncing so many shots you keep this gun in the game and you can do significant damage so this kind of game is, is a real interesting game here um, you know this ARL is in a world of hurt uh, no protection whatsoever um, you can see this place I'm at right here on the steps at least I can pull forward and I can pull back while I'm reloading. Reduces my chance of danger. That VK is doing a good job uh, side scraping off of the corner of that building. I shot the whatever that was, a pillar out of the way because I couldn't really see where the corner of the building was. And look at this ARL. I mean, come on, dude, really? You gotta get some better driving skills than that. <laughs> look at this guy. Ah. Um, trying to stay out of his way, but, uh, you know. T-3485 is going to finish him off. At least turn your turret towards the enemy. You might bounce a shot or two. Uh, we're working this KV-2 up and back, up and back. He's finally going to get the best of me here. 437. And this is when I make the decision to uh, go ahead and switch on over to this other side where my... Uh, more of my teams on this side so I want to get over there KV2 pushing in hard and we get back down to safety again on these stairs and I take a shot here from that victory 
and it really does change my gameplay a little bit. I would have preferred to have been aiming at those bigger tier guns like that KV-2 to my right, but you know that pesky little victory and wanted just to keep him away. Finally, that last shot that he bounces does, and he's gonna m drive around. I know he's driving around. We're down a tank at this point, um, and so what I'm gonna do here is swing to the left a little bit, just so he doesn't have a clear path at me down that street. And I'm just gonna try to get around as fast as I can and get the kill. But the KV-2 is gonna round. Nice aiming there, and it finishes him off. And all of a sudden. Our team disappears. It's now three on one. Um, so, even the odds a little bit here. Here comes that victory. And I take another big shot from behind. Bounce that one. Critical shot to bounce. And I'm down to 200 hit points. And I just want to back away so that SU can't get me. 184. Who is going to win the reload battle here? Yep, Tiger P. So, 24 <laughs> hit points left. Klobanov is just waiting for us. Which way is that SU going? And luckily I guess right. And luckily I can get a nice roll there. 215. Whew, I was sweating bullets. Heart was pounding. That was a close game, fun game. But anyway, you guys, you can see just the raw power of this tank to be able to withstand a lot, a lot of shots. If you're angling it properly, if you're protecting that lower plate, um, if you're face hugging the enemy, um, side scraping, this tank is a beast. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of the German heavies. Uh, hopefully they're half as good as this one. Because if they are, they're going to be super fun to play. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, come join us on Discord where we've got some other chatter going on. And as always, stay safe out there. Get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.